Hello, this is Paul here, and I'm just messing around at the LMMS. I'm using the version that's current at the time of this video, which is 1.1.3. And at this time, I'm running it on Mint, and it's 17.3. And I also have the Kick Studio uh, updates so it stays the current mint and I also have the KX Studio stuff for the VSTs but I don't think that matters with this aspect because I'm just doing chip tunes real quick or messing around with stuff so what I'd show you is LMMS is uh, pretty cool for chip tuning because it has a whole bunch of them as the preset sense right away so ones I thought were worth a mention because they're pretty chiptune specific are Bit Invader, Nesclene, Freeboy, Sid, and SFXR or sound effects or I guess is what that would be Bit Invader and for Bit Invader I find that it's a pretty close pokey analog so if you like the sounds that Atari uh, computers make like the XL, XE, and 2600, I don't know about the 5200, but I know 2600. They all use the pokey chip for sound, and what I find is to get close to that, you set the length. The sample length is 24, and that will give you pretty close to pokey sound. But to really get the pokey sound better, I would say to add some prink fractal noise, because the pokey wasn't exactly that clean and to add a decimator. So uh, decimator you drop the bit depth to 8 and the uh, sample rate you just gotta play around with but with the fractal noise and then the decimator on top of that it really sounds like the pokey. <laughs> I'll just, just take my word for it that's how you get it there. And then Eskling is NES out of the box. The UI should point you to that. And then you have Free Boy, which is the Game Boy uh, chip tuner, and you can play with that. You have Sid, which is the Commodore 64, and it's known for Sid, obviously. And then to do the rest is SFXR. One I can also say that NES is actually like some old Yamaha chip. I don't remember the exact name, but if you're into that kind of sound, it's that chip. Some old sense to use it too. And then, uh, SFXR is the sound effects. Uh, just kind of going back to the Nintendo again, but in some ways, the sound effects are so short that it's just not trying to <laughs> worth uh, emulate the other uh, effects because they sound close enough to it no matter what system you're on. So, and this is good for your percussion. So, if I were to uh, play around with a uh, percussion real quick. Get the little pew pews in uh Obviously, you see it, each one of these, uh, you can get a very different sounds just by messing with the settings. And uh, usually, I just click on uh, generators, you get randoms and mutations, and you have different style effects. So, you click on one of these little style effects, and it will give you that sound of that style, and you can click on mutation, or you can just go random overall and try to find different sounds. And of course, you have the dials and uh, waveforms to play with. but that kind of stuff and so I'm just messing up that <laughs> I don't know if I'll keep that as a track but just to give you an idea what's possible and I'm going to clear all these nodes I'm not going to go over making any chip tune but I'm just letting you know that the instruments are right there out of the box and if you're doing a beat baseline editor and you want to do a tune or a bass line with music, 
I would right click and open in Sydney Piano Rule and hear that. <laughs> Alright. I'll maybe change the octave as a here. Actually, let me go up the octave. Oh, I should do it from here. I think you get the idea. Oh well. So you can do the like melodies and stuff for your bass line and do the crunchy noises and has the fixer for your uh, beat. And anyhow, just letting you know you got all this for your chip tuning stuff and it's right there. You don't have to dig in and you don't have to get too fancy and it's just like a little piano roll editor and LMS so it's like fairly stupid easy so when I make a chip tune, this is the easiest way to give it a shot, and it doesn't cost anything. Just uh, download it, and in this case, you add a PPA or a. Uh, well, there's other tutorials in it. <laughs> I think I even missed that. So, just let you know. Later.